Welcome to the big story tonight. At five, President Biden strongly condemning Hamas's terrorist attacks against Israel. And we're hearing from him for the first time three days after a surprise attack launched by Hamas fighters, prompting a war between the two sides. 14 Americans now dead in the conflict, and that death toll reaching more than 1,800 on both sides. President Biden reaffirming his administration's support of Israel and expressing his sympathy for the victims of the violence. We must be crystal clear. We stand with Israel. We stand with Israel. And we will make sure Israel has what it needs to take care of its citizens, defend itself, and respond to this attack. There's no justification for terrorism. There's no excuse. And in support of Israel, the White House has already pledged to send ships along with keeping in place fighter jets that are, were supposed to leave the region this coming. As the Biden administration says, it believes there are 20 or more Americans still unaccounted for amid the conflict. Back here at home, a Fairfax County woman who lives in Israel telling Fox 5 her relatives are hostages. They were taken by the terrorists, and Fox 5 is also speaking with the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee, Virginia Senator Mark Warner, on what's being done to free those hostages. Let's get you out to Tom Fitzgerald. He's live at the Israeli embassy tonight with the latest fits. Jim Marina, this is a big story, but you can get an idea of the human cost by talking to just one family. Abby Owen is originally from Fairfax County, Virginia, but for the last eight years, she has called Israel her home. And tonight she tells Fox 5 several of her relatives are now being held hostage by Hamas terrorists. Take a look. Abby's older cousin, Carmela Dan, along with Carmela's son-in-law, Offer Calderon, and Carmela's grandchildren, Sahar Irez and Nora were all taken by Hamas. The family lived in Gaza in an enclave known as a kibbutz. They were inside a bomb shelter when Hamas terrorists raided the area and then took that family hostage. Abby tells Fox 5 tonight she is just trying to hold on to hope that they'll be okay. Uh, we have five family members that are missing right now, ranging in age from 12 to 80, one of, with, one of whom has special needs. Um, so it is the most horrific uh, possibility you can imagine. There are some people that survived, but the kibbutz itself was burned to the ground and there is nothing left. To even add to that nightmare, Abby says she's seen a video of 12-year-old Irez being dragged away by these terrorists. Nearly half of the 400 people who lived in that neighborhood have been killed. Now, Fox 5 also spoke with Virginia Senator Mark Warner, the chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee. Today, Warner says the United States has to help with that hostage situation. As an American, I know how complicated the Israel-Palestine issue is for people. And this is not that this is Hamas. This is a terror organization. And we want people to be anti-terror and to raise their voice against that to make sure that these civilians are returned home safely. When 12-year-olds and 80-year-olds are being held as human hostages by terrorists, we need to be absolute in standing and supporting uh, Israel uh, to be able to get those hostages back and to be able to be effective in eliminating Hamas leadership. Look, this is a nightmare scenario for any family. Abby tells Fox 5 tonight she is hopeful there could somehow, some way, be a diplomatic resolution to the situation and her relatives are returned home safely. We're live at the Israeli embassy tonight. We'll send it back to you.